Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I would be discussing on how we can format the output which we get when we query any LLM as per we want. We can format the output the way we want. So I'll be using Langchain and I would be explaining you how we can format the output which we get when we query LLM through Python. So just I've just installed uh, Langchain core, Langchain OpenAI, just pip install. I've just set the OpenAI API key. So there is a module called Langchain OpenAI. Using that module, we can query the OpenAI LLMs. So we have a class called Chart OpenAI, which, which is imported from uh, Langchain OpenAI. So just Chart OpenAI and the model name you want, just describe that. And this LLM, when you ask LLM.invoke, you can give anything. Tell me a joke I have asked you. So it, it, it has given me this output like this. So it's a very big output and a lot of unwanted stuff. We can format the output with only the response we want. We can ignore all the unwanted things like uh, how many tokens it has used, what what can, uh, what is the audio tokens used, what is the prompt token detail, all this kind of unwanted information we can ignore and just format the output the way we want. And so there are few techniques which Langchain supports and using those techniques, we can format the output after querying the LLM. So the first one is Pydantic class. So in Python, we have a module called Pydantic. Using that Pydantic, we can even format the output uh, by querying the LLM. So there are two advantages of using Pydantic uh, module in Python, where it validates the inputs which we give. For example, let's check the basic Python code uh, on how it throws the error. Here I have a class called user and I have these variables and I have decided the data type of each and every variable. So while I'm calling a class, I've given the exact data types like ID is int, so int. This is string, so string. This is integer, so it integer. This is string, a list of strings, so I've given list of strings. And when I run it, we got the output very much perfect. But when I comment this, and when I run, when I just uh, run this one here, if you see instead of ID, which is int, I'm passing ABC. So here in list of strings, I'm passing list of integer. So it should throw an error. So it threw an error. So, so using Pydantic, we can validate the output. If you see here, they have, I've mentioned two points. Pydantic automatically validates the data, ensures that it confirms the expected types and constraints. So only the expected types and constraints are passed. The key advantage of using Pydantic in the Langchain is that uh, it evaluates the model generation output. Pydantic will raise an error if any required fields are missing. So for while passing, if you miss out any fields, it throws an error. So that's how the Pydantic is used. So from now on, we will be uh, asking the LLM to give some jokes and rate that jokes as well. Uh, how much it rates out of 10. So we'll ask that. So I have created a class called joke. And if you want to go with Pydantic module, you need to inherit the base module, which comes from the Pydantic module here. And you need to give this so that uh, the LLM will understand the purpose of this class. Here, this is a class called joke and joke to tell user. This is the comment which we have given. And he, here we are giving three fields. The first field is setup. Second field is punchline. And the third one is rating. I mean, we have given the description also. Setup is of type string and it holds this kind of field, the setup of the joke, the punchline of the joke. And how funny is it out of one to 10? So instead of just doing LLM dot here, if you see, we have just done like LLM dot invoke of the whatever the context you want to do. Here I just gave, tell me a joke. It has thrown this, this particular output. So now the intention is to format the output. So here we have a method called with structured output in Langchain. When you do LLM dot with structured output of this joke, Pydantic class and then you use like this particular variable the structured LLM dot invoke of joke then the output will be like this we got three variables in the output one is setup one is punchline and it's rating so that's how we use the Pydantic module to format the output of the LLM response that's it and the second one is type dict in case if you don't want to validate the variables and all then you can go with the type dict as well See, if you see here, if you don't want to use Pydantic, especially don't want to validate of uh, validation of the arguments, you can define the schema using type dict as well. So in type dict, we create a class and while calling the class, we pass the variables as a dictionary. That's it. See, if you see here, 
for the, the basic example here we have a class called person and it imports type dict and it has two arguments string and integer if you see here uh, one is string one is integer so i have given correctly only one is string one is integer but here it's incorrect but even then it does not throw an error so it did not throw an error so it skips the validation unlike pydantic that's it and you can do the same thing just class joke instead of base model you can use a type type dict here and explain what is the purpose of this class and the same fields whatever we have used in, instead of using the field which we have used in pydantic we are using annotated here so this annotated takes data type and the description the metadata information using annotated you can pass the metadata information that's it so the same variables the same description and the same method with structured output and pass this joke class and when you use the structured llm dot invoke it gives the response in the form of a dictionary but here it gives the response in the form of a class see joke is a class and these are the variables that's it so that's how the type dict works this is how you can format the output of the llm so we also have another option called json schema here we have to just give the same details which we have given above in the form of a json just the title as joke the description the type should be object and inside properties we give the variable names the type and description variable name and the data type and description like that and here we are saying that it, these two are mandatory that's it so this llm dot with structured output of this json schema and the output will come as a uh, dictionary similar to the type dict that's it there is no much difference between the uh, uh, type dict and json schema um, in the output it comes as a dictionary we have another option called few shot prompting and in which we can give some sample examples and tell the llm to behave like that and it behaves like that that's it so here we have given a variable called system and inside which i have just explained what what is the core purpose here and i am giving some examples and i am asking to give the assistance output as like this like this and when you want to train it with the few short prompting we have to use this class chart prompt template dot from messages and you need to pass the system messages which is nothing but this one and the human input so this is how we create the prompt using the few short prompting as we are doing prompting here which means we are trying to tell the llm to behave like this so this is how we create the prompt in the long lang chain chart prompt template dot from messages what are the system messages you want to give to the system what are the human query you have that's it so here we are we are saying that first call the prompt and the output of the prompt pass it to the structured llm that's what this pipe indicates first create the prompt and then the output of this prompt pass it to the structured llm and when you do this dot invoke and this whatever we have given here this will go under input here whatever we have query as whatever the query we have asked here that goes under input here that's it so that this is another way to get the response in the form of dictionary using the few short prompting and there is another option like instead of just declaring the json string which we have done above all this we can even uh, give like method equal to json mode that's it llm dot with structure output method equal json mode and it will return the output as the form of a json just that's it structured llm dot invoke of the query structured llm dot invoke of the query we have that's it it returns the output in the form of dictionary or a json whatever but this particular option is not supported by all model systems that's what they have mentioned in the documentation only the llms which support the tool calling and the function calling this kind of llms only will support the with structured output so the llms which does not support uh, uh, tools and uh, the function calling then we can't use with structured output on those kind of llms for that we have to use this pydantic output parser here if you see i created a, a class called person and it's a base model that means it's a pydantic and i am giving a explanation about what is this class and it has two fields name and the height in meters so i am just explaining what is the purpose of this field and what is this field that's it and inside the, and i have created another class called people and it calls the above class as a list that's it so here i have two class pydantic classes so now we have a class called pydantic output parser this pydantic output parser will take the class name so when you pass this pass name when you pass this uh, class name which is people to this pydantic output parser and when you call this dot get format instruction 
it this is giving the instructions on how to behave like in, instead of manually writing here we can just call this uh, method and this method will create the instructions and this can be passed in the prompt template so that indirectly we are just doing whatever we have here only that's it instead of writing this hard coded text we are generating that using pydantic output parser and now we are using the chart prompt template because this the chart prompt template is used to ask the llm to behave like if you want to tell the llm to behave this way then this is the only option in the mm, lang chain chart prompt template dot frame messages the first is a system messages and see while passing this uh, system message we are just passing this one the pydantic parser dot get format instruction so this particular exact instruction text will come here and the humans is a query which will pass when we want to invoke it so here i have a query and i am saying first create a prompt then that prompt we have to pass it to the llm and the output of llm we have to pass it to the parser that's it so we are creating a chain here and this chain doc invo chain dot invoke of query means this query which we have here will be passed here that's it so we can create a chains in the llm where we can tell like first so do so and so step then so and so step then so and so step like that. that's what we're doing we're creating a prompt the output of the prompt pass it to llm the output of the llm pass it to the parser so that's what we have done and if you see the output has come here in the form of a class so we have a people class inside people class we have a person class and inside the person class we got the name and height in meters so if you see i have given it in feet and it has converted into meters so now llm will search the information about a person in this text and it will extract the name of the person and it will extract the name in in the form of meters not as it is not the value which we have given which is in in feet that's it so this is the another way to parse the output that's it and the last one is custom parsing if you see the output here is in the form of a class and if you want to the output in the form of dictionary or a json we can even use the custom parsing this this is just an another technique that's it if you see we have a class explaining the class the fields explaining the value the, explaining the meaning of the each field that's it the same as which we have done first class and this class b is being used in the this class that's it and now if you see we are creating the prompt here whenever you you want to create a prompt in the lang chain we have to go with the chart prompt template dot from messages and it takes two messages one is system message and the human message human message is nothing but the query the system message is what the instructions we give it to the system that's it here we are saying answer the user query output the answer as json that matches the given schema should match this schema that means the output should be like the people class and inside the people class there should be list of person and inside the list of person there should have the two values name and height in meters so given schema and also we are saying make sure to wrap it in this particular uh, special characters and why we are wrapping it in the special characters i'll tell you now so if you see we have created a prompt successfully we have created a pydantic class successfully now so now we are creating extract json i'll tell you what with this extract json does and here this is the query and i is 23 years old and she is 6 feet tall that's it this is the query which we want to pass so i mean whenever we have the prompt uh, chart prompt template we first create the prompt then we call the llm that means the output of this prompt will be passed to the llm and the output of this llm which we already set to return in the json format in between these special characters will be passed to the extract json method so we are uh, customly extracting the json or customly formatting the output which we got from the llm that's it so when you do chain dot invoke and the query which is nothing but this one will be passed so when you do this the first prompt gets called and the prompt output will be passed to llm the llm output will be passed to the extract json and what we are doing in the extract json is just a basic thing we are using regex and finding out that there is a json between the special characters because here while giving the system instructions we have said to put the output of the json Uh, output in the json format between the special character so we are just extracting that information and we are loading that as a json that's it because we, when you use pydantic the output will come as a class which we have seen here and we don't want it as a class and instead we want it as a json so we have gone with the custom approach we have multiple options just this is another option that's it 
we can use the json schema which we have seen above Ooh, and we can use type dict which we have seen above but this is just an option if you want to do any custom parsing we can go with this approach also here we are just uh, extracting that as a json that's it we are just returning that list and if you see the output of the prompt is this one see this is a system message which we have given and we have asked to put the output of the llm inside this so it has put the output of the llm inside this and this is a human message this is a query so the prompt gets created llm calls and pass it to extract json when when we pass it to this extract json this particular value is read and we are extracting the json out of it and this is how we got the output the people name anna height in meters that's it so these are all the techniques with which we can use in lang chain and to parse the output in a way we want either in the form of a class or in the form of a json and whatever the way if you have a custom approach we can use custom uh, parsing if you have a custom requirement that's it this is how we parse the uh, output of llm using lang chain thank you so much for watching